We're swapping out the gauge cluster in our power wagon. We want something with the uh, larger screen on there. So we were able to find one locally actually for uh, <laughs> super cheap. So make sure you're checking Craigslist and OfferUp and all those other places uh, because we were able to score our cluster for an insanely good price. So I'm gonna go over here what the uh, 3.5 inch version of this looks like. It works well, but it's it's kind of basic and doesn't show me as much information as I'd like. So to start off with, this is your main menu here, and you can go up and down and see uh, these various things and the settings on here. Now, what I don't like is that you can't set up to see the speedometer and see, uh, you know, your trip A and B or tire pressures or anything like that. So, not. Uh, uh, that's the, basically the main reason that I'm switching the uh, speedometer out. So we'll take a look at the uh, first thing here first, which is just speedometer. And of course, that's just as it says, just the speedometer. Shows the odometer down there on the bottom. We can take a look at vehicle info. Now, this is where I spent most of my time. I would look at this screen. I would be able to see the coolant, the transmission, oil temp, oil pressure, and it just kind of gave you a good range as far as how the car or the truck was operating, the vehicle, you know, temperatures and everything like that. And then you can go up and down and scroll through the hours um, and other settings on here, tire pressures. And then, of course, you have the larger screens that show only one temperature at a time. I don't really know why you'd use that when there's that one main screen that's got all of it. Then heading back here, fuel economy. Same thing, just gives you your fuel economy. Nothing too exciting or advanced here. And continuing down the list, we get trip A. So that, of course, just shows you your distance and everything, which you can reset pretty easily, uh, along with trip B. And uh, your trailer tow settings, if you have something hooked up, it'll show you, of course, what your settings are. So let's get this puppy pulled out, uh, then we'll of course compare physically the two speedometers and then get the new one swapped in, check it out, see how it looks. So obviously you can see here the screen real estate on the 7 inch uh, electronic vehicle information center is a lot larger and we get a couple extra gauges on there, battery, oil uh, pressure, fuel, and coolant temp, so a couple more gauges on there, but overall just a bigger screen, which is what we're going for. Here's what it looks like without a gauge cluster. Lots of room back there for activities. And the gauge cluster is in, so let's take a look and see what she has to offer. Now to start off with Power Wagon showing up on there is super badass. And jumps right into here. Now what's really cool is on here, you have so much more to customize. You get all of the little uh, areas on the screen here that you can you know, basically put whatever you want there. So it is crazy awesome how much stuff there is. So we'll go and start off with, uh, I guess we'll just head up towards the uh, well, first off, you have the screen set up. Now, there's other videos that show uh, how to do that. But basically, that's just changing your layout here. So that way, you see what gauges are where. Going down from there, you got your speedometer. And here, we've got our gauge summary. Now, this is pretty much where I lived at before with the gauges. So that way, I could really see what the heck is going on. Just gave me a much better clear idea of what was going on with the vehicle but now because i've got all of the extra gauges on there it's really nice to be able to have um you know the gauge summary here but still have mpgs and all that other stuff so super excited about that of course get a larger fuel economy gauge and then you roll down into your trip meters now one note that you do need to make sure that you know about is that if you do swap out the clusters, your odometer is going to be off as well as the hours. So that's right on here. Now I was super excited to get this plugged in and try it out. However, this cluster is going to be getting sent out. So that way 
I can match the old odometer with this one and then that way I know exactly how many miles are on the truck and maintenance won't be a problem and all that other stuff. So make sure you do that uh, because the odometer is not saved on the, the vehicle computer, it's only saved on the cluster. So if you swap that out, then obviously it's gonna reset. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you get that corrected. Now, depending on where you buy it from, I've seen places online that when you buy it, you just tell them what numbers to set in there. And then that way, when they ship it to you, it's all ready to go. And you don't have to try to send it out like I do. But because of the deal I got locally, I don't have to worry about that. So that wraps up this video of upgrading the gauge cluster on our power wagon. Of course, comment below if you have any questions on any of the gauges or how those work. And of course, subscribe for future updates on the power wagon here or racing, dynos, all the other stuff that we do and uh, have fun with.